Well, like I said, for me, the, 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 the argument about the trust, it's a little bit more elitist. Because there are people, vast majority of people in some parts of the world who don't even have access to the internet. So for them, they would argue that, well, let's have access first, and then we can talk about the issues of trust. But you have the access, and now you are even talking about the issue of trust. So, but I think it would also be defeatist to only look at it from the point of view of just those who don't have it. We could still look at the argument in both ways. So yes, one of the issues about trust is about the security. You know, um, data protection is very key. And, and, and yet, uh, you find a situation whereby because of the enormous data that the internet holds, um, and people give away those information, really thinking that they are secured, only for them to turn up into the hands of people who are using them for very, very, very criminal purposes. I think that is something that has to be looked at. There is also the issue of people hiding behind the internet because of its anonymity to perpetuate crime and fraud and all those things. And that is something that needs to be looked at. But this cannot be looked at from only the perspective of the technology makers. And you know, the technology makers would come out with the technology to deal with that. But you need to also have a practical understanding of what the problems are. And the problems are not uniform per se. You know, the vulnerability of somebody from, say, Ghana might not be the same as the vulnerability of somebody in the U.S. So when we are coming out with technologies, when we are coming out with solutions, the solutions by all means should look at the universal solutions, but we should also try as much as possible to look at the solutions in relation to specific continents and all this. And I think when we do that, and everybody comes together and we share information in a very hope, open, honest, and transparent way, I think we would be making some headway. But it's not something we can eliminate immediately because, mind you, those fraudsters, those criminals who are using the internet are increasingly also finding ways of being sophisticated. But when we work collectively, we can be on their heels, and then when they realize there's no hiding place, they may have to give up.